what's up everyone, my name is Nigark. Today I'm going to be looking at Homesick, and this is the main screen of the game currently. It is a first person 3D puzzle exploration mystery game, and even though it doesn't say it, it's a, yeah, for me, for me it's a little bit of a horror game. So I'm just throwing it out there right now. In this game, you will explore an abandoned building encountering puzzles and clues as the story unfolds. You seem to have been there so long that direct sunlight is blindingly bright at home in the serene but foreboding atmosphere. But when you sleep, you are plagued by nightmares, frantically running down hallways chased by darkness and axe in hand. Find the remnants of the building's inhabitants to discover who you are, what happened, and what you need to do as you try to escape in both your nightmares and the waking world. So this is the main screen, it has the controls, it has the options, I I like seeing what I'm going to be doing in the game right away, so having the all of this, it would be kind of nice if it was shoved away in a menu, it would make this look a little bit cleaner, and it may do that when it's actually released, it comes out on May 28th, so by the time this video is out, it's already out, so it may be a little bit more refined, but I'm going to hop right into it with a new game. It's dark. There we go. <sighs> it's bright outside. It's a piece of paper. Okay, so this is where we begin. This is uh this is homesick. It's very bleak and Yeah, let's see. Where did that Oh, that's that's really bright. Let's see. What did what flew in? Oh, it's half of a picture. It looks like looks like a little boy and some flowers. Okay, so pretty much you walk around and you activate things. Let's see. Where does this run to? Yeah, the light the light doesn't turn on. Oh, all of these light switches doesn't do anything. If we try to look outside, it gets blindingly bright. Oh, oh, there's flowers here. They they look pretty dead. Yeah, this it's it definitely gives you a sense of the atmosphere. Like you turn on the faucet and it just drips out. You don't have water running. Okay, I can't interact with any of this. The atmosphere here, like, ah, uh, you can see there's maybe some clouds over there, but you try to look at it and it just, you can't. You read anything and it's all gibberish. You can't, you can't read any of it. Hmm. I did try the decoding thing that it said in the options where you like hit buttons on the keyboard You like hit letters and it never worked for me So I'm not sure if I just never got to that point in the game But yeah, none of the light switches do anything Oh, we have to unlock the door What is this? Oh, that's just where the door goes. Okay And then this is oh what does it say? It doesn't say anything. This is the hallway, the super long hallway that, you know, is in most games that try to creep you out a little bit. What's over here? Open this up. I guess we can't. We cannot pick up the axe. Open up the door? No. Alright, so we have to go down this long hallway. And my first time through, I entirely thought something was going to jump out at me here. Like, the entire time. Uh, looks like there's a picture down there. Okay. There's a book. It stands out, but it's not, like, super blatant that it stands out. And I actually pretty... I really like that. It's pretty cool. There's some more outsidiness, but uh, again, it's incredibly bright. There is a little bit of issue with invisible walls here. 
in that they extend a wee bit too far. Oh, this one looks like it filled up with some water here. All right. And there's more grass growing into the building. The atmosphere here is just great. It feels like like you woke up in the room and it felt like you belonged a little bit. It's it's kind of hard for me to explain it and there is pictures that go that are around that bring some life to it. But it doesn't it's obviously not a very great place to be, but that room seems like that's where you were supposed to be. What's in here? Let's see, is there more? Yeah, more stuff that I can't read, and I, I don't know if there is a way to decode this. If there is, I've entirely missed it. And I've, I've definitely tried to decode all of it in as many ways as possible. I've clicked so many buttons trying to decode all of that. Oh, it looks like there's a suitcase in here. There's some buildings, you try to look at the ground, see if there's grass, and it's blindingly bright again. Yeah. And I also, I did go through and I turned on all of the light switches the first time and turned them all off as well. And it, just spoiler alert, it doesn't do a damn thing. It doesn't do anything. So these light switches, I'm pretty sure, are entirely pointless. But, this is a 3D puzzle exploration mystery game. So, we do have to do some puzzles. Come back here, and there's a key in the door. Let's wiggle that a little bit, and break it off. So we got one and a half keys. We obviously can't open that. And then you just scroll to go through your different items here. There's another thing. Can I open this one? No. Alright, this one is locked, I assume. The key just goes in like that. Yeah. There we go. And then you look around here. The only thing you need in here is actually this bucket. Yeah. I have gone through a few of the puzzles, and back here you cannot go down. It's a little bit weird, but oh, it's so blinding. Super, super blinding. Okay, and I believe the room that we need to go in is this one that had the bathtub. And we get the water. Right? Let me get the water. There we go. So the puzzles in this aren't very... They, uh, there isn't so many options that it's hard to figure them out. But it can be a little bit difficult to once you when you first come in to know what happens. This is the point where I got stuck my very first time through and it took me about 30 minutes to figure out where to go from this point, which is when I tested all of the light switches and everything else. But I, I maybe I should have noticed it is these dead flowers and I now have a bucket of water. And the point is to water the flowers. Alright. And then we go to sleep with our picture. See, look at that. It, it feels, it feels right. So the environment definitely doing a good job, but let's lay down. And this is where I say that the game is a wee bit of a horror game. And I do horrible in horror games. I hate horror games. So if you stand still, let's see. We can actually come out here now. There's nothing. It's an abyss. But if we just stand still, we get consumed by the darkness. So you actually, you're in a... What the game is doing is it's making you move. It's making you feel like you have to keep moving. Which kind of puts you into a bit of a panic. Not really a panic state, but an urgent state is what I should say. So we can look around. The lights are flickering. There's these black splatters that want to chase me around. I can't do anything with the light switch. I only have this. Leave the hall lights on. Management is what that says. We can't go this way. It's consumed by the darkness. The hallway is much more disturbing in the, in the darkness. 
you can't break through this glass. And if as soon as you stand still for a second, that sound of it consuming you just... I can hear people talking, and I can go down this hallway now. But it's, it's disturbing. That's what it is. Now I'm in an unknown area. I have to keep moving through it. And it's dark, and it has this stuff trying to kill me. Oh, this is lit up over here. And we have to break down this door. Which leads into nothing. And that is the nightmare face. We wake up, we have our picture, and the flowers are bloomed. They, they're beautiful. And you have to right-click to get out of bed. I thought the first time that it was just like a cutscene that was taking a really long time until I clicked around. But yeah, and then this is back to stuff that you can't read. I don't think there's a way to read all of the things that were laying around in the nightmare phase, but you can see at the end of the hallway that this door is now open. And I did go through and I explored all of this stuff before, and it didn't seem to change. So I'm not sure what's up with all of the things that you can't read. I would have loved to have read them, but you can't. Again, you come by the door and it's, or the window, and it's all shiny and bad. So let's see, let's open up this. Okay, it doesn't seem to be anything. There's a six. What is this? Zero, zero, number, number. That is actually important for the puzzles. Let's open up this. Nothing in here, okay. Open up this one, no. Oh, there's some pictures. That looks like... Stuff that I know nothing about. I'll be entirely honest. Let's open up this one. Yeah. Newspaper. Newspaper that I can't read. It's really... It, it, I, I want to be able to read this as I'm going through, and I feel a little bit disheartened that I can't. I... I want to be more invested in this game, but I feel like I don't have the opportunity to. Oh. That looks bad. Yeah, that doesn't look good at all. But yeah, I feel like I don't have the opportunity to learn about... Like, these are just pictures to me. These don't mean anything. It looks like boats are running into each other. I... I'm sure it becomes much more apparent later. I'm sure there's a point where you can come back and... And read all of this stuff. But for right now, I don't... I don't feel like it's giving me the opportunity to be invested in it. Let's open up this one. What do you have in you? Oh! Alright. Yeah, alright, more stuff that I can't read. Can I open you? Yeah, I can. It's in here. Another paper that I can't read. $183,000, $12,000. Okay, so this has numbers on it. I guess I can read numbers. That's fine. Is there anything else in here that is worthwhile? It doesn't look like it. Alright, let's head out of here. Anything in here? Nope. Okay, so, what is this way? Alright. Oh, this looks like outside. Am I gonna get blinded? No. I don't- I'm pretty sure I can't just open this. Yeah, it's not gonna let me open it. The locks are rusted, so I'm not even gonna try to use my key. There's water. Oh, there's water leaking from the roof. Let's take my bucket and put it down there. Let's click on this. No. Okay. What about this one? Nope. And then there's another creepy door down here. That seems to be all the way in the back. I'm I'm kind of glad that I can't open that door, to be entirely honest. Oh, yep. Can't, can't go down this hallway. It's too bright, and it has an invisible wall there. Okay, so let's... 
These things have been locked this entire time, so I am going to unlock these things. Just click on the little lock over here. And this puzzle was pretty easy to figure out once you uh, open up that note and realize that it says zero zero number number. It just says two zeros and whatever number is shown on the box is what you click or what the combination is. Okay, more stuff I don't know anything about. That looks nasty, but I don't know anything about it, so how bad could it be? Ignorance is bliss. Let's open up this one. Oh wait, is this one already unlocked? I think I may have just locked it. Uh, let's see, 23, 25, 11, 13, 14, 17, so this one would be 21, 19. Yeah, you're gonna be 19. I don't know if I actually did this one last time. Whoops. I thought right click would bring it back up and it did not, so I had to click all the way through this. Zero. Zero. One. Nine. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I did that one last time. Oh yeah, there's more. There's more bad things in here. Two, there's dirt and other dirt. Okay. Interesting enough. And then this one is 53. Zero. It, it is a little bit weird that the same combination works for all of these. And that there just happened to be a paper that was in there. I think it's kind of a weird way of doing it, but, you know. It works. There's a city that... There's a section, like, on the right side that looks like where the boats may have been. Yeah, this place looks like it's totally flooded. Oh yeah, this place is definitely flooded. Oh yeah, that's bad. So this place has been flooded. That might explain some of this water... water stuff. And this is 0014. So it's it's clicking a little bit. It is definitely clicking a little bit. It's very easy to get into. I will admit that. Let's see. One, four. And if this is anything like the other one, if you open the top one, it falls over. Yeah. Making loud noises. And what's in here? The paint cans. Another newspaper and this thing. And so what do we do with this thing? Well, we poke this. Come on, let me poke it. Yeah, look at all of that water. So we poke that, we gather our bucket again, then we come over here. To where the flowers were. Can we water the flowers one more time? Mm hmm And then, we lay back down to rest. And there's the flowers. Mm. Now, that is all I'm going to give to you. That is the first couple of puzzles in Homesick, and I'm going to hop right into Corgi. Uh, partly because the horror parts actually bother me. And they aren't even technically horror, they're just environmentally scary to me, and I, I honestly, I do horrible with those. So, Corgi, controls, very simple. The only thing that I don't understand is if there is, let me see, escape, I can go to the menu apparently. Okay, so I'm an idiot, and what happened is I totally hit quit thinking it would take me to the main menu. It didn't. So, I could have sworn there was a way, there was like a control for decoding before, but I guess there isn't? And that's a little bit weird to me. I Like, I'm 100% certain that there was a control for decoding and it was hitting letters on your keyboard, but that seems to be gone. And, like, I checked this out probably two days ago and it was there, so I don't know what's up with that. So controls... It's pretty simple. You move, you crouch, you click, and you use. It's a point-and-click adventure in that in a 3D world. So controls don't suck. Options, 
they have plenty of options. The only thing I would have liked to have seen is volume sliders for music and and just environmental sound, but it it doesn't really need it. If you need that, just turn down your speakers. So overall options don't suck. Replayability. If it is just a standard 3D puzzle exploration mystery game, then I they typically don't have replayability. It's you go through, you see the story, and then you put down the game. That is, that's just what the game is. So I don't really see there being replayability unless there was something really unique about it. But for right now, replayability is a suck just because it doesn't exist. Gameplay. It, it is what it is. And uh, I say that a lot, but it is a first person game. You do puzzles and you explore and it's a mystery game. It's all about the story. So for the gameplay, it doesn't suck. It, I, I am compelled to keep moving forward in the game by trying to figure out the puzzles and just figuring out what the next step is in the game. So gameplay doesn't suck. Environment. I love the environment in this game. Absolutely love it. The music is amazing. It's not overpowering. It's calming. If the music were anything else in this game, it would be an entirely different game. Like, absolutely 100% different. But they chose the most perfect music for it. Absolute props on that. The environment is a little bit eerie, but also soothing. There's pictures around that gives it life. There's That's the only place you really find color besides grass. Otherwise, it's all very, like, grayscale and maybe a little bit of browns in there and blacks, but there's not a whole lot of color unless you really look for it. And I can really appreciate the the sense that some it's not right it isn't a great place to be but it also isn't a bad place to be and the environment in this game absolutely phenomenal doesn't suck at all and entertainment like i said i'm i was compelled to keep moving forward in the game the only thing i didn't like was that i was skeeved out every time i would go to sleep and i couldn't figure out where to go and i have to keep moving and I'm like trying to break down doors and they aren't working and I open a door and I don't know what's going to be on the other side. But that is part of the entertainment and I would say that the entertainment value is totally there. Homesick overall doesn't suck. Well, I should have said entertainment doesn't suck. But homesick overall totally doesn't suck. I would absolutely check out this game. It's on Steam. There's links in the description. Go click the things. Go play the game. My name is Nigark. Thank you for watching.